we're going to work upon your existing market data worksheet by learning how to quickly add and replace widgets. Now that we have a widget within the widget worksheet, we can now look at the menu. And here by clicking on the top right hand corner of a widget, you've got a drop down. You have the ability to add another widget on top of this existing market depth. This is what we call stacking a widget. So let's add another widget. Let's say it's market depth, but we want to see a different security. So instead of iris, let's type in BHP. And here you have the ability to really maximize the real estate by stacking another widget on top of another. You can easily toggle between as a set code is displayed within the widget title. Stacking these widgets is a fast and easy way for you to access data in the one area. Alternatively, we can detach a widget. Detaching a widget allows a widget to open in a separate window within your internet browser. As you can see, we've got this market depth widget that you can now easily move to a second monitor or move around the screen. Detaching a widget is for temporary use. So please note that if you're going to add a charting widget, certain functionalities are limited. In selecting the widget menu, we can maximize the widget. So let's just say, I really want to look at this chart, but in a bigger resolution. So let's drop down that right widget menu and maximize the widget. And here, it really occupies the majority of your real estate. You can change the indicators and do what you would like. However, maximizing the widget only allows you to look at it in a bigger view. For you to access the relevant functionality underneath this, you need to X out that widget and minimize it. Another option is for you to replace the widget. Here we've developed some hotkeys in order for you to quickly replace. So as you can see, hotkey letters are displayed after that relevant widget function. So given that we're in a chart, we can jump to a market depth or a histogram. So as long as we're selected within the widget, by selecting D for depth, it can change into a market depth widget and it will carry across that relevant set code. Alternatively, we can select P for security profile and even back to C for chart. Within this widget, you have the ability to carve the widget. In a previous video, I walked through the specifics in creating a worksheet, but you can actually maximize the real estate by carving it further, should you wish. Here, I split it horizontally, and what we want to do is actually add another widget, such as a chart, in this widget space. Another way for you to customize um, is actually look at these menu widget shortcuts. Now, when you hover over the relevant icons, you have the same options that are made available within the drop down, such as add, detach, and maximize, but they're made available in an icon. Hovering over that will give you a tooltip maximize, detach, replace the widget, even carve it, and remove it. And that way, it allows you an even shorter way rather than having to select the widget menu and then dropping it down to select the function. These are quick and easy ways for you to actually add and replace widgets within Viewpoint. Mm -hmm.